who does sweeping with harmonics? No one. Hello everyone, my name is Guillaume and welcome to a new episode of Hit The Tone. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome to this new episode of Hit The Tone on Thomas Guitars and Basses. If it's your first time here, welcome. What I'm doing is taking bits of famous songs and try to give you all the tools you need to hit the tone. And the cool thing about this is that you get to choose the songs that I'm covering. Just put them down in the comment section and I'll get to you as soon as possible. If you enjoy the format and don't want to miss out the next episodes, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Thank you very, very, very much in advance. And without further ado, let's start with today's song, which is Goat by Polyphia. Now, I legitimately don't know why I'm doing this to myself. This is way beyond my skills, but it's a lot of fun. And I feel like if I can help you in some way, if not the playing way, well, that'll be something. I guess. Polyphia's guitar section is composed of Scott and Tim, who are literally redefining what guitar playing means. What they're making is so new and fresh and original and, and complicated. <laughs> so some of you guys have been asking in the comment section and lately I've, I've covered it on, on Instagram as well and uh, had a lot of positive reaction. A lot of people watching Hit The Tone asked me there to do a Hit The Tone on this song. I do not thank you for that. That being said, Herman Lee from Dragon Force liked my video. How crazy is that? Anyways, they both have their Ibanez signature models, uh, both derived from the AZ series with an HSS configuration. Such a beautiful guitar. But I don't have it here. And because this song happens in the fourth position, meaning the neck and middle pickup together, any guitar with two single coils here and there will do the trick. So I'll be using my Fender Strat just to prove a point as well, like you don't really need a specific pickup to do it. Also to sort of prove the point that any guitar with these two kind of pickups will get you close. Not there, I'm not saying that, never saying that, but close. Anyways, this is our basic sound. This is super quiet. I'm, I'm really afraid that the mics won't even pick that up because what I'm gonna put it into it is gonna make a lot of clipping happening. So let's have a look at this in our amp and pedal section. Both Tim and Scott are using uh, Axe FX 8, so the, the pedal board version of the Axe FX, and live going into orange amplifiers, or at least cabs. So that's a pretty digital, really modern, really flexible kind of rig. I'm not gonna tell you guys to buy an Axe FX to play just that song, so I'm gonna have to make it work with my rig. As usual, I will be using my Fender Hot Rod Deluxe Tweed Edition. The controls will be on your screen. And as I said earlier, it is very quiet right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is put a boost in front of it. So I'll use the left side of the JHS double barrel red mode, so some aggression, and that's gonna take us there. That's already slightly better, definitely a bit louder, and the amp is working a bit more, but we're still very far from that very hard clipped signal, that almost digital kind of clipping. So for that, we're gonna use a hard clipping overdrive. If you want some examples, I'll put some in the description box down below, but basically anything that, that sounds very harsh, so stay away from tube screamers and things like that, but clone, for example, clone pedals are hard clipping. Most distortions are hard clipping. So if you have a distortion pedal, maybe you can try your luck by putting the gain all the way down and just boosting with the volume. But for today, I'm gonna to be using the Walrus Audio EB10. I have the boosting gauge and I'm boosting 12 dB on the bass, 12 dB on the high and 3 dB on the mids. It's a very bright and brittle kind of sound, but still being very present in the mids and the low end. So I think that complements my amp very well. It might change depending on what you're using. But adding that pedal to the first one is going to take us there. Mm -hmm. 
Now that is a lot better. I'm gonna stop there because I think that's about as close as I'll get with these pedals and this amp. To be completely honest with you, if you use amp emulators or amp plugins into softwares, you might actually have an easier time going about it. Very little gain, a lot of volume boost, and the overdrive that you might be using, I, I would suggest to be hard clipping. If you're going through an Axe FX, obviously a Helix, Camper, uh, Boss, GT1000, all of these guys uh, will probably do a really, really good job at getting that kind of overdrive sound. But with that said, we have something that's close enough and we're going to go on to the final part of that video, which is as usual the most important and is how to play the song. Before I get into it, please keep in mind that if you want to spend some more time learning the song, the tabs will be available in the description box down below. You will find there as well a link to all of the gear that I'm using today and a bunch of recommendations at different price points that could help you get there if your stuff doesn't cut it. Now, this is without a doubt the most complicated, technically complicated song that I've ever had to do on Hit The Tone. It involves all the techniques and even techniques that I, I didn't know existed, like harmonic sweeping, that's a thing, apparently. I'm still struggling a lot with the song. Uh, I'm gonna play it slower for you guys, try and go back full speed afterwards. But yeah, basically, we've got our setup. The guitar is tuned in E standard, and your fretting hand is going to look like this. <laughs> Even if some of the difficulty lies within your right hand, this is atrocious. The blend of chording, single notes, harmonics, and obviously the speed of the whole thing makes it so incredibly hard to play. So if you're a beginner, if you're studying playing the guitar, maybe don't start off with this one. I don't have any particular tip regarding these techniques other than play it slower like play way, way slow and progressively build your way up because it's really a question of dexterity, of control over your hand, over are you gonna fret it? Are you gonna just do a harmonic on it? But with that said, let's have a look at the picking side of it. <laughs> So it isn't much simpler than the left hand. There's a lot of chicken picking involved. There's some tapping. And again, it's that it's the speed of it. It's like they, they describe it as just like flexing really, really hard on four notes, which is exactly what it is. It's just really hard to play. It's really cool when you like sort of get there. It's starting to get satisfying and not as much as like me pulling my hair and trying to figure it out. But it's a really hard song. I hope I did it some sort of justice. I uh, hope you guys learned something today and enjoyed learning it. If so, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel so that you won't miss the next episodes because you get to choose what song goes on there. Just put it in the comment section and I'll get to you as soon as possible. In the meantime, I wish you a fantastic week and I'll see you next Monday in a new episode of Hit The Tone.